Hi, I'm Whitson Gordon from Lighthacker.com, and today we're going to talk about optimizing your Android home screen. Let's get started. One of the best things you can do is get a different home screen launcher. I prefer Launcher Pro. The default is fine. You'll see you've got a few icons in your dock down here that you can get on any screen. But with Launcher Pro, you get a lot more options. You can download it from the marketplace for free, although there is a paid version that has some extra widgets. And you'll see at first that they've got a couple extra icons down here in the dock, but what's even cooler is that you can swipe just the dock to get a few more applications that you may need more often, like navigation, the camera, toggling Google Voice on and off, and a couple apps we'll talk about later. Also, you have a ton of settings that can customize the experience further. A lot of these are performance and uh, image-based, you know, things like changing the dock appearance and, and stuff like that. Uh, and you kind of just need to play around with those until you find something you like. Uh, but they can really enhance your experience. One of the best parts, though, is being able to change the number of home screens you have. So if you're one of the unlucky few with a droid that still has three home screens, you can up that to seven. Or if you're on an HTC Incredible and you prefer to have only a few home screens instead of uh, seven with widgets and apps all over the place, uh, you can do that too. There are two main philosophies on home screen usage. Some people like to have a lot of home screens and put as many icons and widgets on there as they possibly can. This is my preferred method. If this is your philosophy too, there are a few tricks you need to know for keeping it straight. The first thing you can do is organize all your apps by screen. You'll see I have my most used apps like Gmail, Facebook, Twitter on my home screen, but all these other screens are organized by category. Here are my music apps. Uh, here's some productivity apps like SpringPad for taking notes, Google Reader for reading RSS feeds, Mint.com. And on the last screen I have you know, more gimmicky apps like Shazam and games like NES. Secondly, never underestimate the power of widgets. If you have enough screens, use them. They give you a bunch of info without you even having to open an app. See, I can see all my tasks here without even having to open Astrid. If I'm standing in line somewhere and I want to check Facebook real quickly, I can just start scrolling through status updates. To add a widget, all you need is an empty space. Click and hold the home screen and hit the widgets button. And you'll be presented with a list of all the widgets that correspond to the apps you have on your phone. It may seem like a lot of trouble to swipe through a bunch of screens, but Launcher Pro has this great feature where if you just hit the home button, it will give you an overview of all your screens. Thus, having this first philosophy of a lot of home screens doesn't necessarily slow you down. You don't have to swipe all the way to the end every time you want to get to your, you know, power control widget. You just hit the home button, and you can see, you just pick it right away. And then to go back to your home screen, you just hit it again. That's it. If you're of the philosophy that you'd rather have just a few home screens so it's easier to go through, there are a few things you can do. First of all, folders are essential. You can long press on any empty space to create a folder. You have a few presets, but if you just want one for apps, you can hit new folder and then just drag and drop them in like you would on a computer. Then you have your entire screen filled up. You just hit the folder to see your apps and that's it. Furthermore, you can always access your most recently used apps just by pressing and holding the home button. This will give you quick access to all the apps that you've used recently and you won't have to swipe to any screens to get there. One of the really cool things about Android is you can create shortcuts on your home screen that aren't just for apps. To do so, just click an empty space, hit the shortcuts button, and you have a number of options available to you. For example, you can add contacts, directions to a specific place, Gmail labels you frequent. Thus, you could just have all these shortcuts on one screen. If I want to navigate home, I just hit that button and it'll take me home. If I want to call a contact, instead of opening up the contacts app, I can just click on someone and choose to call or text them. No matter which of these philosophies you subscribe to, there are a few apps that can help make your experience a little bit more enjoyable. One of my favorites is called Power Strip. What's really cool about this is you can bring up widgets, other apps, pretty much anything you want without having to leave the app you're in. So for example, let's say I opened up the Map app and realized that I don't have GPS turned on. I can just long press the search button and up it comes. Choose my power control widget and turn GPS back on. Similarly, if I'm listening to music, I could 
hit the music button to have the widget, change tracks if I wanted to, do a voice search, pretty much anything I can imagine. Another app that I find pretty useful is called Smart Bar. It does a lot of things, but one of the cool things I really like is giving you this quick settings launcher, which is basically like a more advanced version of the power control widget. From here, not only can I turn on and off Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, but I can also turn on and off auto rotate of the screen, even the lock pattern. It's pretty cool. And it also shows you your battery, hard drive, how many apps you have. It's pretty great. Obviously, this isn't all encompassing. There are a lot of other tips and strategies out there that you can use, but hopefully you've learned a few today that you didn't know about before. Of course, feel free to share yours in the comments below. See you guys next time.